Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Neighburn Lock, Caravan, Motorhome and Camping Park. Exclusively for adults. Let's go and take a look around. Leisure Bit is the way to go with David, Rachel and Roxy. Let's hit the road and explore. So here we are at Neighburn Lock Caravan Park, which is near York. Roxy and I are going to go and explore while David sets up. We've come out of the lane just near reception, as you can see behind me, and we go down here and then we are heading towards the lock. Um, it looks as though there's river cruises that go from here, but we're going to explore further. Right, that's us set up. We run a hard standing pitch with electrical hookup and it cost us £38 for the night and that included £2 for Roxy. You can arrive at the site from 1pm. We were greeted by somebody on the way in to check in. If there's someone to greet you, check in at reception. The reception and shop are in this building straight ahead. In the shop, there was a range of very useful products, food, some fresh goods and local produce. Let's have a wander around the park now. There's water, waste and recycling points at a number of places around the site. See one behind me there. There's also else and disposal and toilets and showers. It's waste and drinking water here. There's a dog shower just here. Take a quick look at that. There you go. Else sand point here. Toilet block there. There's accessible gents and ladies toilets and showers. There's a dishwashing area on the end of the toilet block and then the Revolution Laundrette. There's an El Sam Point Waste and Recycling as well as grey water dump for motor caravans and campervans. <laughs> Let's have a look at the site in the area from above. walking round the edge of the field here which brings us out at the canal is the car park for Neighburn Lock tea by the lock plant based tea room dog friendly open 10 till 4 Wednesday to Sunday and see the mechanics for the lock here. We'll come back later in the video and have a look in more details at Neighburn Lock. There's a river bus service that runs from here to the centre of York. It costs £13 single or £15 return and it picks up at half past nine. Don't forget to check the times though if you're going to travel on it. So Rachel said it's only on a Friday and Saturday apart from the dates there when it's on a Tuesday and Thursday. So definitely worth checking before travelling.
quite a pleasant walk into Nairburn. Started off on the track and then now just on this grass track. We're just coming up to about halfway now. Very pleasant walk just through the uh, trees here and uh, just following the track to Nairburn. We're now in the woods. We actually realised when we got to this point we'd taken a wrong turn and cut across somebody's land as there was a sign on the gate here that said it was private property. Oops. St Matthew's Church there. Coming into Neighbour now. Don't follow the route we took because we ended up going down a no right of way. And we're going to head down that way to the Blacksmith's Arms. Here we are at the Blacksmith's Arms. Cheers. Cheers. Cracking meal there at the Blacksmith's Arms. So it's back down that way to the caravan site. We'll have a quick look round this way. Clock Cottage. Some beautiful little cottages down this road. And here's the village shop. And just behind us there is the start of the village of Neighburn. Good morning. So, pleasant night's sleep at Neighburn Lock. Uh, just taking Roxy out for a little wander now. You can probably see in the background there. Brilliant area for walking dogs. Lots of places you can take them and a lovely stroll around. So here we are at Neighburn Lock and we've got a tea by the lock just over here which does plant-based food and the locks on the River Ouse. The first lock was built in 1757 and is one of the first examples of canal engineering. In 1888 another lock was built which allowed larger vessels to pass through up into the city of York. You can see the difference in water level between the lock and upstream towards York, which is that way. You can see some of the buildings here. I believe you can visit them as well if you wanted to have a further look around when they're open. There's some fascinating engineering. You can see the weir behind me there on the River Ouse. Look at the water flowing over that. Wouldn't want to fall in there. <laughs> There's some really interesting carvings depicting the nature you can find here, the wildlife and also the history. There's some lovely boats moored up on the river.
The mill once stood here on the island. It was built between 1813 and 1817 and harnessed the power of the weir. Here's the control panel for the lock. Look at that, it's switched off just to make sure we don't fiddle with it, I think. The area must flood at certain points in time. We noticed the electrical hookup connection points were very high up, which is normally an indication of where they've had flood water and things around there. So hard to think this could be underwater, isn't it? But I suppose it's the River Ouse, and that comes from the swale and the oh, And we've seen the swale previously, haven't we? How high that can get. Well, good morning. It is the morning of Van Love Fest. I'm getting very excited already. Before we set off though, we have come to take Roxy to the dog field on the site. It's really, really good. It's one of the best dog fields that we've seen on site. Roxy's certainly enjoying it. Let's see if Roxy can get the stick. You ready? Get set. I've just found another dog exercise area. Roxy's already gone through, so I have a feeling there may be some water stuck down here. Let's go and take a look. I love it when campsites do this, when they have a nice area for you to take dogs. It makes such a difference. I've worked out where I am now. When we came through the campsite and we went through that little field, I think it was called South Meadows, and there was a dog area just behind me. This actually leads onto the lock as well. It's got a pathway all the way around, so it's a really good place to walk your dog and get to the water. And you, Roxy, would find it. I'd like to say thank you to Russ Johnson Art for turning the mugs around so quickly and dropping them off. Really appreciated. We were totally unorganised. After a lovely stay at Neighbourne Lock, New York, it was time to hit the road and head on for Van Love Fest 2023, which was on Elvington Airfield, not too far away. Don't forget to check out the video on that one if you haven't seen it already. I'll pop a link in the description, including a link to this campsite and other useful information. While we were there, we were fortunate enough to meet Kelly and Peter, and Peter gave us a tour of his ambulance conversion. That's coming up soon on Leisure Bit. So Rachel, what have you thought of Neighbourn Lock Caravan Motorhome and Camping Park? It's been great. Um, it's the first time we've been to this site at York and I can highly recommend it. There's some really good walks around, lots of places to eat and drink, the shop's well stocked, toilets are beautiful. Recommend. What about you? It's been lovely and relaxing. I love the lock and uh, all of the engineering and things that went in. It's unbelievable to think how long ago that was created and what clever engineering it was for that time as well. So. 
absolutely cracking site uh, definitely recommend it it does flood in the winter i was talking to the lady on reception and uh, apparently it got up to almost the height of reception to the barrier so um can't believe that can you that's how quite much, unbelievable yeah how much water comes down there but uh in the summer it all seems to be good you so, can get a water taxi as well can't you into york you can you can that runs it doesn't run every day so just check the timing on it but it takes you on a boat into the center of york and brings you back again later on well worth checking out if you're here we're not here long enough and it wasn't running at the right times so otherwise we would have done but definitely worth checking out thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it catch you on the next one bye, bye.